ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இயர் பிரசாந்த் வெல்கம் டு த கியூஎஸ் சேனல் திஸ் அவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் வஞ்சர் தேர்ட்டி டேஸ் ஆஃப் மொபைல் ஆட்டோமேஷன் ஸோ இன் திஸ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கவர் ஆல் த மொபைல் ஆட்டோமேஷன் இன் யூசிங் பைத்தான் ப்ளஸ் ஏபிஎம் லேம்டாட்டஸ் இன்டெகிரேஷன் வித் பைடெஸ்ட் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் ஸோ இன் திஸ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கவர் எவ்ரி டே டென் மினிட்ஸ் ஆன் மார்னிங் டென் ஏஎம் ஐஎஸ்டி ஸோ இன் திஸ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கவர் த பேசிக் பைத்தான் ஏபிஎம் அண்ட் லேம்டாட்டஸ் இன்டெகிரேஷன் டு ஹவ் அ ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் அண்ட் ஐஓஎஸ் டிவைஸ் இன்டெகிரேஷன் Next, I'm going to cover the PyTest framework setup. Then, I'm going to cover the Git actions. And, I'm going to create a cron job on running day-to-day basis regression testing. So, this is mainly for anyone who wants to start with a career as a software tester or anyone who wants to start the mobile automation in their project. So, I'm going to let's get started. So, in this, this is an introduction video. And I'm going to cover the basic Python installation. then the ide which we choose is vs code i'm going to show the how the vs code works then i'm going to check the installation of python is working fine with the in small python code script okay so i'm also open any browser which you prefer so i'm opening a firefox here so how to download a python is you can simply type python download so and the first website is python.org so in this you can download the latest python code so if i am using a mac so it's coming a mac suppose to anyone using the windows you will get the windows build so the current version is 3.1.2 when you are downloading that may be a futuristic version okay so i simply click on the download button so it will download the latest python code okay once you download it simply open that file it was very easy you can simply click on the continue button so it automatically download the simple versions next thing is how can i verify a python is installed correctly or not means you can open a terminal in mac if you are using windows you can simply open the command prompt okay so how to verify it so i am using python 3 right python 3 hyphen hyphen version see this my minus on 12.4 okay so next we need to download the ide so as i said earlier i'm going to use a vs code so some people already have experience in eclipse intellij so vs code also one of the best ide for automation both java script based and python based so simply when you download vs code it will go to the visual studio code website in this it available windows mac linux as well so based upon your windows you can select the option so i'm going to the mac once you click on download it is a simple step to click on install okay so how it will be seen so basically the new window you will see like this okay so before that we want to create a project folder so in my system i am creating a new folder let's create a new folder okay so i am going to name it as apm mobile youtube series okay so this is the folder which i created now from the vs code i need to click on the open and go to the documents where i created a folder so i am opening this folder see this my project is created with this folder name okay so this is the welcome note so i am going to create a simple file python file so how to create a python file you can name it anything i am going to name it as first code dot py so dot py stands for the python extension okay so when i click on dot py automatically my vs code identify as a python okay i'm going to write a simple print statement in the code like print in this print i'm going to type my first code in okay i'm control f or, or command as in mac okay simply this is the file code how to run it simply you can open the terminal type it as python what is the file name first code dot py see this it is simply provided the statements which we are given okay so in the series i am going to cover first three to four classes basic of pythons which is necessary for a automation tester then next is if anyone already know basic of python you don't need to worry about those things okay so if you are new to python you can follow that for first to four days video then i'm going to show the how the apm setup and how the lambda test so lambda test is a basically a 
cloud virtual cloud device platform so it will provide the devices so in some companies i use a process tag source lab there are so many things okay so previously we were using a local apm and local entire setup but that is not feasible for the long run automation okay so to run in a jenkins or github actions so better to approach with the virtual devices so using a lambda test browser stack or test lab in this series i am going to use the lambda test okay next after showing the configuration between android and ios then i am going to teach the apm basics like how to handle the locators uh, like in the mobile screen like native app in the app how to open the app how to click on the app drop down process linking form fillings those kind of mobile app features we are going to do in the apm series after that we are going to study about the pi test like how to create a fixtures how to do the pi set test testing how to pass the test data so those things we will teach in the pi test after that we are con i'm connecting my code to the git like how basic git commands to upload the new co code how to store in the git then after that uh, jenkins is still complex we are going to use the jenkins like we are going to use the github actions instead of jenkins to run the code on daily basis so here i am going to create a, in the end of a series with a small project on with the cron expressions like every day it will automatically run okay so let's see tomorrow morning 10 am so if you like the video please like and share to your friends thanks for joining